Stop smiling. Neither of us can make rent. Ah, neither can I. Well, who's gonna cover us then? I have an idea. A business idea. Technically, we're a message delivery service. Brought to you by the Human Telegraphs. Walter, she's gone. You tell Kev not to show his face or yours until there is a rock in front of it. What message did you deliver? It's Dad. I don't have cancer anymore. I'm going to be all right. That was supposed to go to Mark on the Upper East Side. Does this mean we're gonna have to call him and tell him his dad still has cancer? This is gonna be really bad for our Yelp rating. How is this my life now? happens when you don't pay rent. Yeah, but has she not heard of the 30-day mandatory grace period? You're mixing up apartment rentals with student loans. Look at this place. Doesn't it look magical? Oh, where is it? It's in Crown Heights. And mm -hmm. Alana from Broad City did a two-week sublet here as her character. What does that even mean? It means that she rented the apartment in character. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Look, it says right there. We must live here. How much? Um, we'd only need to add 1500 more to our money jar to make first month's rent and the deposit. Impossible. That place is going to be off the market faster than the sea level rising. We have to believe in ourselves. We can get this apartment. We don't have to live like this at the edge of the world. Don't be dramatic. Coney Island is at the end of a subway line. We have messages to deliver today, right? Let's do this. by seven, I have an audition in Midtown at 6.15. Can you move it? Are you trying to make a fish face? No, it's my sad kitty face. It is sad, all right, just in general. I can do 7 p.m. in Queens, no problem. It's a $250 delivery though. Oh, gee, I knew we would hit it big soon. Eee! What? We just want to make sure the whole cancer message mix up doesn't happen again. Especially with the $250 delivery. I can't believe you! I just fixed our Yelp rating. Are you blaming our bad Yelp rating and therefore poor business terms these last three weeks and our being homeless on my one little address mix-up that could have happened to anybody, especially during a Mercury retrograde? Or yes. Not. <gasps> Maybe. We got an extra 500 last week because of moi. That guy thought that you were his granddaughter. Uh, that cannot be verified. Ah, they need two messengers. That's why they're paying so much. Problem solved. You two can go together. On the house. Oh, thanks, Billy. See you. <laughs> He's totally in love with you. <laughs> if Lily and I are going to Queens, that means you have a comedy club in the village. <gasps> I love comedy! I'm going there to work. Look at him. Yeah, but could you date someone who Botoxes his butt? Shh, you told us that in confidence. He was joking. You clearly don't understand his sense of humor. My conversations with him always end up at Fiji water. Does that happen to you guys? He can pour Fiji water all over my body. That's what he's into. Oh my God, is there anything in my teeth? Ladies. Hey, Kale. It's Kale now. 
I'm honoring my favorite vegetable by officially changing the H to a K. Oh, I never knew you were so passionate about kale. I figured it's the least I can do to help spread awareness and help save the planet and all bunches of kale everywhere. You know? I like kale too. You mean me? <laughs> Yo, they're out of Fiji water again? They expect us to drink this gas station water? I wouldn't even wash my car with this crap. I feel like discerning individuals only drink Fiji water above, you know? Like Voss. What's Voss? Exactly. Yo, I have something to show you. Have a nice day, Trisha. That's not why I brought you out here. Why did you bring me out here? You ready for this? You and I are going to Darren Aronofsky's Fire in the Firehouse on Night Muse. Oh my God, the New York premiere with Meryl Streep? And me, and this beauty. How did you get tickets? I'm an associate associate producer, baby doll. Working my way up to associate pro. My uncle Lenny's executive producer. I'm sure you heard of at least one of those things. So you down? Yeah. Sweet. Catch you later. Uh, did Benny send you? Um, no. Are, are you Graham? What's it to you? In order to proceed, I need a yes or a no. Uh, yeah. Graham Bergini. <laughs> it's me, Hankster the Prankster. My, my, Hanky. What big tits you have. Uh, um, old friend. We've been through our share of comedy acts together, and I wish I could say that what I'm about to tell you is a joke, but, you know, whatever. I threw most of your stuff in the van and the rest in Binky's alleyway. Don't worry, the old man is not gonna touch it. Molly gave me an ultimatum. Get clean, drop our comedy act, get a real job, and turn our pad into a respectable apartment for the two of us. Me and Molly, that is. Otherwise, she's gonna start dating that douchebag Freddy who drives a Mini Cooper and works at Verizon. Bro, I love Molly and I want to be a dad and have kids someday. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna miss smoking up with you and watching Bob Ross classics, but Molly's right. We're not in our 30s anymore. It's time to grow up. Uh, please don't come back to the apartment. We changed the locks. Here's to the magic in all of us, Grand Bergini. Respect and love, man. Brought to you by the Human Telegraphs. Fuck, <sighs> man. I've been triggered, okay? Haven't you ever seen a homeless person before? This is what he looks like! Who are you? I'm nobody. Are you the reason that Graham just harassed my audience and left? No, I don't even know him. I... Yes. Do you have any idea how much money a little charade is going to cost me? I'm not charading. Are you a comedian? I'm an actor. You just cost me my guy. Your butt's on the line. You're up next. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next act to the stage. No one. Please, everyone, give it up for no one. Oh God, the realtor just texted me. <laughs> I still can't believe we put in an application without having the funds. We're getting the funds tonight, girl. Aw. What? They have another applicant. 
they need to conduct an interview and do an in-depth vetting process. What does that mean? Let's see. One of the things on the list is a blood sample. For an apartment? New York apartment hunting. Oh, I think this is it. No one is home. Trisha, what are you doing? Trisha, I just want to see if we have the right address. I don't care if it's the right address. This looks like the set of the haunting. Trisha. Okay, let's go. Trisha, 